Here are 15 flutter tips and tricks you should know. Starting with the first one, custom paint. Custom paint will let you use the canvas and a paint to let you draw anything on the screen. Just define the class, extend the custom paint, override the paint and should paint method, and then we can start painting. For example here, we can take the canvas and draw a circle in the middle of the screen. Look at this, masterpiece. Do you want to improve accessibility in your app? Then maybe semantics are what you're looking for. Just wrap whatever widget you have with a semantics widget. It has a bunch of properties, let's just set the label to red circle. Look, he's back with a name. And the next one is clip widgets. There are quite a few of them, but they work the same way. Here we have a simple red square. And in this case, let's just wrap it in a clip oval. And hey, we have our circle back. You're now Herald. Now we're not debugging gods until we learn how to use the dev tools. Let's imagine you have some UI or performance issues. Well, we can open the dev tools and open the page we want to see. For example, we can navigate to the performance page. This will make it easier to debug if you have some kind of performance issue and where that is. Though be aware, if you are shaking for performance, make sure to be running your application in profile mode. You are not just limited to the material import, but you can also use Cupertino or widgets. So most of you probably use the typical material import, but we can also use the Cupertino as well as the widgets. Have you ever want to see the dependencies of your Flutter app? Well, there is a command for that. Navigate to the terminal of your project and run Flutter pub deps. Here you can see an awesome looking tree with all of your dependencies of this project. Another amazing tool is that you can migrate code. Let's say something has updated and you have some deprecated code. Just open the context menu and resolve it. And bim bada boom we have some magnificent code. Now what if you have hundreds of these in your project? We just use the all knowing flutter fix. Open the terminal for your project, run dart fix, dash dash apply. And now you don't have to manually fix these problems. Hey, you. Who, me? What do you have there? Noise. Are you using Riverpod and VS Code? Well, I've made a package for that. With this extension, we have all of the different providers in easily to use snippets. We even have a PR ready for 1.0 of Riverpod. Now, here come some additional tips from the Flutter Map channel. So if you love these tips, you will probably love his tips as well. You can change the language of your app with the Flutter localization and Intel package. You need to use the app localization inside your text and you can change the local English for Spanish and then you will have your application in Spanish. To animate your application in 3D, you can use the transform widget. Inside you use the transform and the matrix 4 and you can use the gesture detector in order to move the app or any widget. What if you would like to have a scrollable bottom app bar? You could use the draggable scrollable sheet for this and you can put the minimum and maximum size and then you add inside the builder the bottom app bar. Thanks man. Now let's take a look at type definitions. Now imagine you have a type that you have to write over and over again. Well you can use type def to create a new reference that you can use wherever you want. And now on to the next tip. What if we want to make our snack bar look a bit better by making it float? Here we have a typical snack bar where we construct the snack bar and then use the scaffold messenger to show the snack bar. Now if you want to make this floating, just go to the snack bar behavior and set that to floating. Have you ever wanted to change the scroll physics of a scrollable widget? Well that can be done very simply by going into the scrollable widget and setting the physics to the physics that you want. In this case I want my list view to always use the bouncing scroll physics that iOS uses. Have you ever wanted to try and make a game in Flutter? Then Flame might be for you. I have a full video here where I create my first Flutter game. And what do you know, maybe your next app will actually be a game.